Learn Forex by www.forexconspiracyreport.com. You may have heard about making money by trading currencies. That occurs in the Forex markets of the world. But how and where do you learn Forex? Forex stands for foreign exchange and this puzzle has several parts that you will need to learn before making money on the fluctuations of foreign currency rates. Roughly four trillion dollars, as measured in the U.S. currency, changes hands every day in the globally dispersed Forex market. The major trading markets are London, New York, and Tokyo. Thus, there is a Forex market open virtually every hour of the day during the business week. A breakdown of foreign currency trading as roughly as follows. Spot transactions, $1.5 trillion. Outright forwards, $475 billion. Foreign exchange swaps, $1.765 trillion. Currency swaps, $43 billion. Options and other currency exchange products, $207 billion. It is the foreign exchange market that determines the relative values of currencies throughout the world. To learn Forex, one needs to understand the breadth and scope of the market. Why is there a Forex market? The Forex markets evolved because of international trade. A German company produces machine parts and sells them to a company in Australia. The Australian company needs to convert Australian dollars AUD, into euros EUR, in order to make payments. The large and very liquid worldwide forex market allows the Australian company to get a fair price for its Aussie dollars in return for the euros needed to make payment. Is this all there is to learn forex? When one knows the essentials, it's time to learn forex trading. How about options trading? Options in the Forex Market In our example of the Aussie company, let us say that the delivery date of the machine parts from Germany is next year, and that payment will be due upon delivery. Now the Aussie company has to decide on a course of action. It could buy euros for Aussie dollars and bank the euros in Germany until payment is due. It could simply wait a year to convert currencies, but what if the euro rises significantly in price between the time of signing the contract and payment? The price for the Australian company will have risen substantially. In order to hedge their currency risk in this situation, the Aussie company buys calls on the euro with Australian dollars. If the euro rises, it will exercise the contract and buy euros at the old contract price. If the euro does not go up, they need not do so, and if the euro falls in price, they get a great deal for doing nothing. Learning the skills If you want to learn Forex in order to make money, you need to learn to do fundamental analysis of foreign currencies. This requires understanding the economic, political, and monetary policy factors that drive the values of both currencies that you trade. Remember that one currency is traded for another. Then traders learn to use the technical analysis software that comes with their trade station in order to accurately assess market sentiment and profit from the predictable fluctuations in the market as trading continually works towards a consensus on current information. Using technical analysis tools such as trading Forex with candlesticks is a viable means of tracking the market. Buy software and learn by trading in simulation. Get a coach to walk you through the trades. Allot enough time to trade each day and follow an established strategy which you will adjust with experience. For more insights and useful information about trading currencies, visit www.forexconspiracyreport.com.